Welcome guys, this is Kagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the third part of my fourth video tutorial on PIC 16F886 microcontroller. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can download the program into PIC microcontroller's memory by using PIC2 clone and you can see in this window, I connect 8 LEDs on port C of this microcontroller. Now I will write a program to control these 8 LEDs. So let's start with ICSP protocol. What is ICSP and how many pins are required for PIC2 to download the program into microcontroller? Uh, let's move to Proteus ISIS. In this package, first of all, ICSP is in circuit serial programming and this is a serial programming protocol and uh, minimum 4 pins are required to download the program from your programming software to pick microcontroller so first pin is the icsp clock second pin is the icsp data so pin number 27 of uh, pick microcontroller is icsp clock and pin 28 of this pick microcontroller is icsp data so we need these two pins after that we need reset pin the pin number one this one and we need a ground signal so these four pins are required for downloading the program and along with VCC and you can see this connector this connector is from picket 2 and uh, this is the programming port you can say tristress C is equal to 0x00 this means our port C is configured for output uh, let's write some value to port C port c is equal to 0x 0f now suppose this is your program and you want to download this program into your microcontroller let's first compile this program build and click on build now your program is compiled let's check the output on simulator what is the output on this simulation model so if i click on this play button now this may happen to you unable to open the hex file because of the programming file path you have to assign the programming file path again and hit this play button and you can see what is the status on port C these four pins are high and these four pins are low so we must get this output on our hardware let's start with the picket 2 software so when open the picket programming software after connecting the picket 2 clone hardware to USB port, you can see it will automatically detect the device. Now in this case, the device is pic 16 f 886 and the message is picket 2 found and connected pic device found. Now before downloading the program into pic microcontroller, I will first erase the microcontroller's memory. So you can see uh, still the microcontroller is running any previous program. So if I click on erase, so it is complete and there is no output on port C because the microcontroller is now completely empty. There is no code in the microcontroller. So how we can write a new code to pick microcontroller? Remember the path of that project folder which you created. Go to file, click on import hex and in this case I have a folder on desktop and the name of folder is this double click on it and this is the required hex file which I want to download into microcontroller's memory click on open and you, you will get this message hex file successfully imported and just hit the right button and you will see that programming is successful and what is the status on the LEDs for lower LEDs are on and for higher LEDs are off which is the same as our simulation so it is very easy to download the program by using this pick it to programmer and pick it to clone into microcontroller's memory this is all about my fourth tutorial that how you can write a code how you you will use the compiler how you will simulate the program output and how to download the program by using pick it to clone so how we can generate different effects on LEDs by using a single port of microcontroller I will show you in next video tutorial for now this is enough for uh, this video tutorial and uh, stay in touch guys I will provide further help further tutorials on this microcontroller and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching